Well, one more thing though.、Um, I want to use this opportunity to talk a little bit about the data definitions that are needed. So you can see that the signature we wrote for this function says the function takes two heights as inputs and returns one height. Now, on one hand, you might say, "Well, these heights are just numbers. So why don't we just put number here? Because you know, wouldn't that be sort of more direct? And you could, you could. And this is not that bad, you know. And then because the signatures uh, is not uh, mentioning the word height anymore, we don't even need to define what a height is." Right, so this is actually a perfectly fine signature. It uses the word number, which we、uh, all know what it means, basically. So we don't need to add any data definition. Step one in this、uh, process is actually sort of empty. Okay, we don't need to add any more data definitions. We could just write a signature using the word number. So that's fine. Okay.、Um, in the opposite direction, you might also say, look, this height. It's not really the same kind of number as this height, because this is in feet and this is in inches and this is in centimeters. So maybe we actually want to think of these three numbers as three different kinds of data. Maybe I want to call this feet. Maybe I want to call this inches, and maybe I want to call this centimeters. Okay. Well, that's fine too, as long as we define not what height is. We don't need that anymore because the signature doesn't use the word height anymore. But we have to define what a feet is. We have to define what an inches is, and we have to define what the centimeters is. Okay, as long as we use the same words in the data definitions as we do in the signature, it's fine. And in fact, this kind of distinction between、uh, numbers with different units can actually help us. Find problems potentially in our code. So, if you want to make those finer、uh, distinctions and write three data definitions and then use them in a signature, that is fine too. Okay. But the most basic thing here is to make sure that whatever words you use in your signature are already defined in your data definitions or are already、uh, well-known data definitions. Where by well-known, I mean like a number.